I am Tia Marie Doxy. I am the Director of Student Life Assessment. I also oversee our new Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, and Ally Resource Center. When I think about diversity here at North Carolina Central University, I think about the motto that uh, our new chancellor, Dr. Deborah Saunders White, offers us, and that is equal excellence, E square. And I believe when you're here on this campus, you'll see that equal excellence equals inclusive excellence. That we are working to create an environment where any faculty, staff, or student can come on our campus and be their whole self. Regardless of your many primary identities, it's important that people feel empowered on our campus to be able to be successful as a student, to be engaging and successful as a faculty staff on campus, and it's important that we are learning about each other. Uh, once we are able to learn about each other and understand our different experiences, we're then better able to have a huge impact, a more effective impact on changing the world. We are the second public HBCU in the country, first in North Carolina, in the state of North Carolina, to have a lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender ally resource center. It was important for us here at North Carolina Central University to, again, work to create an environment where students who identified as gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, intersex, questioning, or queer, could find an environment that was supportive, that would help educate them about their multiple identities. I'm a believer that you can be confidently wrong or right. But in order to be confident in the classroom, in order to be confident outside the classroom, you have to be able to understand and be comfortable with all of your identities. And for many of us, and for all of us, sexual orientation is a part of our primary identities. We actually work to end racism, sexism, classism, heterosexism uh, across the country, uh, and particularly here on our campus. And the goal is to provide faculty, staff, and students with the skills to be able to interrupt, to be able to be an effective ally, to be able to build community, to coalition build um, here on our campus and out in the community. One of the first things is to be a listener, to recognize that being an ally is both, is both a noun and a verb, that it's an identity that you grow into being an ally, but it also takes action, that you're willing to educate yourself, you're willing to confront prejudice remarks, jokes, comments that are out there with support because our Safe Zone training provides allies the opportunity to develop their identity as an ally, but also to learn how to be an active, engaged member here on our campus that's helping to create supportive environments for LGBTQIA students, faculty, and staff. So that means you're going to have a sign outside, you're, 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 wanting, you're wanting to be out as an ally, you want to be able to have conversations conversations, to be a part of educational experiences, and that you are engaged in actively working to create systems, processes that's supportive for LGBT students, faculty, and staff. We've also offered an opportunity to look at the intersection. And when I talk about the intersection, I'm talking about the intersection of race, class, sexual orientation, gender identity, and how that impacts you as a leader. And if we don't begin to look at um, internalized oppression and how many times we take in many of the stereotypes that people have about who we are, about many of our primary identities, and we internalize those stereotypes and we begin to project uh, that those negative behaviors, those negative ideas about who we are on others that belong to the same groups that we belong to. We, it also informs how we feel about ourselves. So if we don't begin to deal with that, again, we can't be confident in the classroom. We can't have respect for each other and be able to treat each other appropriately. So in the center, we're looking at those things. We're talking about them. We're providing education and information so that we can begin to treat each other in a way that's respectful, that's loving, that says that I'm okay and you're okay and, and I welcome you to be the best that you can be.